my hand while I run this race. Yeshua, hold my hand while I run this race. Yeshua, hold my hand, Lord, while I run this race. Cause I don't want to run this race. Yeshua, guide my mind. While I run this way, Yeshua got my mind. While I run this way, cause I don't want to run this race in vain. Yeshua hold my hand. While I run this way, oh Yeshua hold. have a word of prayer. In the name of Yahshua the Messiah, O Lord Yahweh, King of the universe, Thou who has created all things, Yahweh, Thou who has came down from heaven and showed us the way that we ought to live, we ask you this day, Yahweh, to be with us in our songs and our testimony, Yahweh. We ask you to honor them and accept them, Yahweh. We ask you to 
Bless the saints that are coming in, Yahweh. The, the saints that are listening online, Yahweh. We ask you to be with them and touch their hearts, touch their mind, that they that we might be willing to take whatever it is that you have to say to us, Yahweh, and apply it to our life, Yahweh. We know that without you, we are nothing, Yahweh. So we come this day to praise you, Yahweh, in your sanctuary, the way you asked us, Yahweh. We ask you, Yahweh, to just be with the saints on their way in, Yahweh. Keep them safe. In the name of Yahshua the Messiah, we pray. Let the church say amen. I want to read a scripture from the book of Psalms 119. It says, I have done judgment and justice. Leave me not to my oppressors. Be surety for thy servant for good. Let not the proud oppress me. Mine eyes fail for thy salvation and for the word of thy righteousness. Deal with thy servant according unto thy mercy and teach me thy statutes. I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies. It is time for thee, Yahweh, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore I love thy commandments above gold, yea, above fine gold. Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Thank you, for the reading of his word. Amen. Truly, I want to thank you for being in his house one more time. I thank him for seeing the saints of the fa the faces of the saints. Yes, sir. You know, I thank him for that, that Christmas season is over with. Good Lord, I'm tired of it. I was sick of it. You know, I want to learn to be like Yahweh and my apostle. I want to love the things that Yahweh loves. I want to hate the things that Yahweh hates. You know, a lot of people, they don't care what Yahweh hates. They just go with tradition and what feels good. Amen. But truly, we know what that path leads. It leads to destruction. You know, you read in the scripture, it talks about how Yahweh destroys the ones that won't do his will. You know, they just lean to their own ways. So I thank Yahweh for a place that we can come and get judgment right now where we can, where we can change. And I thank him for the hearts that we have here. To, to hear the word and to be able to to apply it to your life and to want to change amen i thank y'all for the warnings that that yahweh gives us through dreams and through visions you know the the warnings of destruction if you don't get right you know sometimes that's what it takes for us you know we got to fear yahweh where if we stop fearing them we start doing what we want to do amen and then we forget about his ways and then he he get uh, he get angry at us you know but i thank yahweh that he don't smite us uh, right away, you know, that he sends warning and gives us a chance to get it right. And, you know, if, if it was man, as soon as you start doing what they want you to do, they're ready to give up on you. But I thank Yahweh for his mercy and for his grace and how it's sufficient for us if we just continue to, to press and not just, you know, if you fall, don't just lay there. You know, because that's what he wants you to do. He wants you to just, the devil wants you to just lay there. You know, he tell you it's too hard to get up. And it is going to be a struggle to get up, but the thing is you need to get up, you know. If you just lay there, you're going to die. You know, so I don't want to die. I want to I wanna get up. I want to shake myself off. I want to strengthen these knees. Hallelujah. That's what we all need to do if we find ourselves falling short. You know, press a little harder. Press a little harder. Hallelujah. So let's give Yahweh what's due to him today. Let's give him the praise and the honor. Amen. It's gloomy outside, but not in his house. In his house, we have life. Hallelujah. In his house, we got light. That's right. He's here right now with us. And there's oh, so many people. I passed by this church on the way earlier, and it was full of people dressed the way they want to dress. You know, coming to church with their PM hats on and all that there, you know, with, with, with their suspenders where they can, you know, put their fingers in there and all that kind of stuff. No, that's not what he here. That's not what we're here for. We're not here for the fashion show. We're not here to, to see what sister so-and-so got on and what brother so-and-so got on. We're not here to give the preacher all our money so he can lie to us. Amen. We're here to give Yahweh praise because we know that at the end of this praise, he's going to judge us. Amen. And he's going to judge us in a way that's going to be right. And if we listen to what he tells us, we're going to be saved. Amen. So just give Yahweh what's due to him. Don't hold it back. If you know that you owe it to him, and you know you do, give him what he's asking for. He asking for songs. He asking for testimonies. He's asking for, for all those things. And if you can't offer it to him, how do you think you're going to be saved? Don't hold it back from him. The saints need to hear it. Amen. So get, I'm opening up songs and prayer service. Um, we're going to start with my wife. 
Is there anybody that we missed last Amen. week? Amen. Yes, sir. Anybody? All right. Pass this. Sign me up for the Christian Jubilee. Write my name. I've been changed with the Lord within me. I wanna be ready when you show up. Sign me up. And write my name I've been changed Since the Lord lifted in me I wanna be Ready when you show up Come sign me up Hallelujah. And write my name And write my name I've been changed Since the Lord lifted in me I wanna be Ready when you show up Oh, sign me up And write my name Write my name on the road. I've been changed since your way lifted in me. I wanna be ready when you show up. Sign me up and write my name. Sign me up And write my name I've been changed I wanna be Ready when you show up I just want to thank Yahweh for blessing me to be here, to blessing me to be with my wife, my son. I just thank Yahweh because he is worthy of all the praise and honor. I thank him because he's really been good to the Diaz family. We know he could have took us apart, took us away, but he's been so merciful to the Diaz family. So I have to get up here today and say I thank you, Father Yahweh, for blessing me with my health. I mean, 
It seemed like it's just getting a little better and better than I used to. Apostle introduced us to that, whatever that bullet is. My wife been doing it, and it seemed like my body is getting to function a little better than what it used to. I mean, because I used to feel terrible. I mean, I used to wake up, seem like I was just too heavy. I mean, my body was just something, but seemed like she's been doing that stuff. I guess my body getting what it needs. And now I feel lighter. I feel like sometimes I'm going to fall because my body's different. And I, I told my wife, I said, do what you got to do. Keep doing it. Because I sure love it. And I thank you, Pastor. Thank you for letting us know. I know. And he's all about love. He cares for us. He wants us to be, like you say, he wants us to be here a while. So, But sometimes this body is stubborn. You know, it don't, I don't like no spinach. And I won't eat it. But the way she put it in that stuff, I'll, I'll take it any time. But I want to thank y'all. Well, he's been so good. I tell you, the devil... The devil been in the deer's house for a couple of months, but now it seems like Yahweh yes, Lord. got that devil where he need to be. Yes, so I'm not happy. I'm thank Yahweh, and I know I've been in this way for a long time, and I know how it works. I know the devil will leave for a while, and he'll be back. But one thing about it, the deer's home got their mind made up to go through. Well, whatever we got to go through, we're going to make it. So just pray for the deer's home, saints.
praise Yahweh. I just want to give all the glory and honor to Yeshua the Messiah. And I want to give double honor to our men of God here who um, truly live the life to where Yahweh can use them to bring the word to us. And I want to thank Yahweh for all the saints and all to my, my children, my grandchildren. I never thought I'd be saying grandchildren. And um, <clears throat> my voice is given out. But I also want to, um, I want to thank Yahweh for Sister Tisha because um, we um, had a meeting. And sometimes you feel like you're nothing. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is given out. Um, P Pastor Jenkins had us look to the left and say something about the person to our left, what their gift was. <laughs> I didn't expect Tisha to say what she said. Yes. All right. And that gave me the strength to pick myself up and keep going. And it was just a few words. So I, thank you, Sister Tisha, because she's the last person I thought, you know, when, when I saw that she had me, I'm like, she ain't going to have nothing to say. But it comes from the person you least expect it. And she made me feel like I could go on and that I was somebody. But I also want to thank Yahweh for the example of Sister Karen and Apostle Washington because my son's been going through marital problems and he can't hold a job. You know, he has trouble with um, people telling him what to do, so he's always getting fired or, or quitting. And it's causing a strain on his marriage and his in laws. So he came to the house to talk about it. And the hardest thing for me to do was to do what Apostle said give him to Yahweh, let Yahweh do what he has to do. And I couldn't bring myself to say those words. But I swallowed hard and I said, Apostle Sister Karen can do it. My son's more important, his soul's more important than anything right now because I don't know what's going on in this world and we have to leave. I want him and my daughter-in-law and my granddaughter to be with us. And I miss him up here on the guitar, I miss him. And, um, and, I, said, and I told him, I said, David, go home and work it out with your wife, you have a daughter. I said, you need to just, when you go to work, just work. Let them tell you what to do and tell something. You know, just, just do it. So he went home, he talked to his wife, he said everything's better. You know, and I, and I just thank Yahweh for that because without their example, I couldn't give them to Yahweh like I did. And I know Yahweh is gonna have his way and I know he's gonna, my son said he can't concentrate, his mind is messed up and I know it's Yahweh troubling his soul. It's nothing. So I ask the saints, continue to pray for him. And also the example that Sister Ray Ray and, and Prophet going through with um, John Jr. Because we have examples in the church. And as much as it hurts, I know my son's soul is more important. Beautiful testimony. Praise Yahweh. Praise him again. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. First of all, I want to give my father Yahweh all the glory in the name of Yahshua the Messiah. I thank Yahweh for uh, how what he's been doing in my life. I don't like it, but I thank him. Uh, they sent my son to a prison. Um, he's only two hours away. I'm grateful for that. Yes. And uh, right now I can't visit him, but um, I'm not a, I don't like to write. I'm going to have to start writing some letters because that's the only way I can communicate with him. But I thank Yahweh that he's... He's merciful against, uh, uh, towards my family. I was uh, sharing with my son, Ricky, about, uh, he, he just turned 33 years old. And him and uh, Evangelist are the same age. And I was listening to Evangelist, how he, he does his life according to my son. And I was sharing that with my son. I said, I was hearing Evangelist, how he says, that he wakes up and he does the things that he needs to do for his family and how, what, he, what his children are gonna think about him. And I was sharing that with my son. And I said, son, I said, you're too concerned about yourself that you're not looking at your children. I said, you need to quit being selfish. I said, and listen to what these, this younger generation is doing for their children. You know, we think that we're doing the best we can, but if we don't put Yahweh in our lives, we're not doing the best we can. I said, you turned 33 and he's 33. And I said, and I look at the difference between y'all's lives. 
I said, he lives a holy life. You're living for yourself, like I did. I said, we need to break it. I said, Yahweh's the only one that can fix that. So I thank Yahweh that he listens. He doesn't run off and tells me to be quiet and not to worry about his life. I thank Yahweh because he's, we could do whatever we want to do, but if we don't have Yahweh, it's not going to work. And I keep telling them, it's not going to work. You have to go to Yahweh. I, I thank Yahweh for the dreams because I had a dream myself that I was, uh, I was with the man. And I know it wasn't my husband. And I had to examine myself. I woke up from the dream. And I was thinking, what am I doing? Am I doing something that's going to pull me away? Am I doing something that, you know, I had to examine my whole, I was ashamed to even say the things I did in that dream. Because I haven't done things like that in a, in a long time. And I gave in to that, to that uh, temptation. And I say I'm never going to give in to a temptation like that. But in my dream, I did. And I thank Yahweh for that dream because it causes me to examine my life. Amen. Because, yes, that, you know, I don't ever want to do something like that. Yeah. You know, to Yahweh. It's important to me. Yeah. Hurting Yahweh. I can't do it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He's been so good to me. I would never do anything to none of my sisters. Never. Especially in this way. I don't want no sister to look at, down on me yes, Lord. thinking that I would do anything with her husband because I could never do that I thank Yahweh because in my dream I gave in to that spirit and I can't do that I can't I can't never do that pray for me saints because Satan talks to me all the time and it was telling me that one day apostle was preaching and they were saying uh, we don't care what you give if you don't do it wholeheartedly and you do it for to be seen and the saint was telling me see he's already telling you might as well leave because you ain't doing it wholeheartedly and I know that wasn't Yahweh telling me that. That's right. That's right. I know that. That was Satan telling me that. Because I know that that's not the way we think. And he was just telling me, you know, you might as well just walk out because what you're doing for the church, it's, it's, not, it's not enough. I told Satan, you know what? I don't care what I do and what I give to Yahweh. I do it wholeheartedly. I do it wholeheartedly. I don't do it to be to be better than nobody. Because I called Brother uh, Davion that we need to improve in this system. Because this system needs to be improved. Yahweh, he wants, us, he wants to be heard. And if we don't put it out in the system, it's not going to be heard properly. So it's time that we work on this system. Because this system doesn't sound the greatest but we can make it the greatest yeah. so pray for me saints because Satan ain't stopping me I ain't throwing in no towel amen yes sir yes sir amen yes lord stay strong beautiful yes, testimony yes sir I don't know what we do without you sister amen <laughs> that's right Lord, I really need to talk to you. 
Feels like I just can't make it through. And everything in life seems so unfair to me. Feels like you took everything I had and blessed everybody but me. And my trials feels like they took control of me. Feels like gravity's got a hold on me and won't let me go. So now I'm standing here to say, Lord, I surrender all to you. Cause you're the only one who can deliver me. Lord, I need your help. I can make it on my own. Your strength is all I need to make it through this storm. And whenever it rains, please shelter me.
he's given me. From, from what I've learned, the times that I have been in, 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 in the Lord and serving him, I thank Yahweh that he reminds me of how it was when I was fighting him. Yes, sir. And when I was concentrating myself. And yes, sir. I thank the Lord for, for the concentration, the, the youth, con I mean, the youth uh, fellowship that we had the other night. Um, I, I don't think I was supposed to be there, but I came and it was really meant because I was already crying when we had the meeting because it, it hit home. It hit right on time. It was in Psalm 38. And it was as yes, if it was uh, King David asking Yahweh to help him yes, through the trials that he was going through for the sin that he's done in his sight. And I just thank Yahweh for reminding me of that. I'm glad I did go to the fellowship. It was a blessing to see the children there together gathered, reading, you know, talking about Yahweh, because he was there, he was in the midst, we hit right, right on time, and I thank Yahweh for that, thank Yahweh for him making a way for me to be here, to serve him, to be amongst the saints, to let me know that I'm not alone in this, Amen. please pray for me and my family, my baby, you know, Yahweh's will, <laughs> she's going to be a wife, Yahweh's will, Praise Yahweh, Saints. I want to thank God for waking me up this morning and starting me on my way. I want to thank Him for allowing me to be here, even though I'm not worthy. I want to thank Him for the five ministry and for my parents. Yes, sir. I also want to thank Him for giving me the strength because I've been working at Spring Creek Barbecue. Yes. <laughs> it's nothing like Omar. Omar's baby. Don't pay him. But uh, he, I want to thank him for allowing me to keep my mouth shut because when someone, I have the tendency to want to get smart with people here lately. If they say something to me, I want I will get smart back with them. And there's multiple managers there when I when we work, and most of them are mean. They'll throw dishes at you. They'll cuss at you. They'll they'll just their way out of in the park ballpark, and. I have to watch my mouth because I want I want to to say, well, cuss at me and see what happens, and <clears throat> well, do this and watch me do this back, and I have to like catch myself because yes, I'm not like the kids that or the other kids that work there that don't know Yahweh. That's that right. That's right. I have to shine a light and say, yes, if he's treating me wrong, then okay, I can't do it. What he's doing back to me, I can't do it back to him. I have to show him that I'm, not, I'm different from all the other workers. I have to work hard. I have to um, be there when he needs me to be there. And because like the other kids, they'll not, they don't want to work when he, when he asks. He said, oh, I need somebody. I need somebody. But I would tell him, like, I'll say, oh, I can do it. I can take that shift if you need somebody because he can't, because no one wants to work it. And I'll tell him I can take the shift, but he's like, no, I don't want you. I don't want you because I, I don't think he likes me. I don't know why. but. I try, you know, I still, even though he doesn't like me, I still try to, you know, help him out. Like, hey, I can, I'm free if you need me to take that shift. Um, you need me to, I'll go bust the tables by myself because he'll put me for over the whole restaurant by myself on cleaning all the tables and expect it all to be done while I have to still do the other uh, other work. So it's, probably, it's most likely a, a three-person job, but he expects me to do it all, and I'll get yelled at for it. And that makes, that just, that just, Makes me real, real hot when, when he does it, and I want, I want to, I want to say, well, you need to hire more busters, or you need to do this and that. But I have to catch myself and just, just do it and be happy that I do it, because it really, really eats me up. But I want to thank y'all for giving me the strength to not, you know, go tell him a piece of my mind because we don't do that in Yahweh's way. We, we, we he. We put coals of fire over their heads by doing the right thing, by keeping our minds at ease and at peace, by helping out when he, we needs help, no matter what they do. And so just keep praying for me as I go stronger this way and that he'll open up his eyes and see that I'm not the enemy. Amen. 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 Amen.
give all my glory unto my Lord and Savior. I want to give double honor to the man of God and the women supervisors. And I want to thank Yahweh for that song because it truly is my testimony to not let the devil ride. He truly has been coming to me and telling me that, oh, you're nothing. Well, your husband's not in this way anymore. That my daughter, she's going through sickness that 
I can't overcome um, that he tells me that you're not going to be able to come o uh, overcome this hill. But I know that if I continue to come here and listen to the word and not fret myself, that I can make it through this, that it's only just for a season that it can go away. And I know that I continue to put my trust in him. He will come back. Uh, my husband will be able to come back in this way. And my daughter, she will no longer be sick like she is. Continue to pray for me and my family as we go stronger this way. Be strong, sister. Be strong. That's right. Amen. Truly, we thank y'all for all the song and testimony that went forth. Amen. Now we're going to go into the word of praise. So if you have a word of praise, if you didn't sing or testify, we'll give you a word of praise. Amen. Praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Yahweh. I want to thank Yahweh for the fellowship we had yesterday. Praise Yahweh, saints. I want to thank Yahweh also for the fellowship we had yesterday. Praise Yahweh, saints. I'd like to thank Yahweh for allowing me to see another day that was not promised to me. I just want to thank Yahweh for being here. Praise Yahweh, saints. I want to thank Yahweh for my trials because they truly are there to make me stronger. Praise Yahweh, saints. I want to thank Yahweh for the family that I still have in this way. Praise Yahweh, saints. I just want to thank the Lord for all things. For Yahweh, saints. I just want to thank Yahweh for the fellowship that I had over Sister Rivera House. Praise Yahweh, saints. I want to thank Yahweh for allowing me to be here this Sunday. Praise Yahweh, saints. I want to thank Yahweh for the fellowship I have with Sister Rivera and also with Sister Gayla. Saints, continue praying for the Taurus family. Praise Yahweh, saints. I want to thank Yahweh for allowing me to be able to come into his holy sanctuary where I'm going to receive words of life. Praise Yahweh. I just want to thank Yahweh for the examples that he do have and the strength that it gives me. Praise Yahweh. I too want to thank Yahweh for the fellowship I had at Sister Eric's. Praise Yahweh, saints. I want to thank Yahweh for the word, and I want y'all to continue to pray for the Smith family. Praise Yahweh, saints. I just want to thank Yahweh for the love of the saints. Praise Yahweh, saints. I want to thank Yahweh for my, my beautiful wife and my daughter, how they're getting closer and, and doing more things together. Thank Yahweh for it. Praise Yahweh, saints. All I have to say is thank you, Lord Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, saints. I want to thank Yahweh for letting me see another day and for the fellowship we had last night. Praise Yahweh, saints. I want to thank Yahweh for healing my children. Praise Yahweh, saints. I want to thank Yahweh for allowing me to be in his presence. Praise Yahweh, saints. I just want to thank Yahweh for all things. Praise Yahweh. I thank Yahweh for Sister Hannah, Brother DeVorier, the one that take the time out, out to talk to Veray. It just keep Yahshua on his mind. Praise Yahweh. I want to thank Yahweh for being a witness to his many blessings. Praise Yahweh. I want to thank Yahweh for being a forgiving God and for the sisters I have in the church that helped me co to continue on in this way. Amen. Truly, we thank Yahweh for the word of praise. Amen. Now we ask all saints to rise that we may read a scripture for the offering. 